Welcome back to the fourth episode of uh, this Let's Play series. We have um, just expanded our realm, have ourselves a second castle. We are eyeing out Kent here as our next expansion. Potentially we could be greedy and go for Middlesex, but I'm I'm not confident in doing that just yet. It's safer to eat up Kent before. Uh, County of Surrey. Why? 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 Oh! Oh, wait. What is our loss? We have Gavil kind. We do not want that. It's a good thing I saw that now. We want the Primo Nocturne. Because that's uh, safer. Gabriel kind is actually fun to play, but I think this uh, it's a challenge enough to expand to become some sort of powerhouse without that. And oh, here's something. That bastard has expanded. He's actually just as rough as uh, Essex for now. However, I want that county, you bastard. Why did you do that? Why? Oh well, and let's send you to get some good opinion. And our economy is growing. We are almost making two ducats a month, and that's fairly good. It still takes ages to save up to any upgrades. However, it's uh, something I can live with, uh, or I can live with. I have to live with it. It's really nothing I can do about it. Then again, we got some nasty modifiers here because this is recently conquered. And then, uh, oh, we need a new. No, you were good. Uh, now we had a bishop instead. Well, train troops. And no, this is a disaster. Now we got worse trainers, but who cares? I will have to live with it. And that means I... Oh, uh, what are you doing? No, improve relations there. And go to the Pokeman and learn stuffs. Collect taxes, uh, fabricate claim, and training troops. Yep. So, how are you doing, good friend? Huh. Actually, not that powerful. Despite having twice the realm. Once uh, this is going strong, I should have a fairly sizable army. And hopefully by then I will have this claim. And we can also hope that we get uh, the distant merchant event and that he delivers a uh, good diplomat or something could happen or something that also would be good is the event where you get a steward you for free 
as I said before and I will probably say it again youths are good in this game I love them so back to the waiting game and feel free to predict what will happen when in these areas uh, I've seen Frankia eaten up good part of the Norse realms I've seen them shatter early and almost not shatter at all uh, Lombardy eventually turns Italy and is usually quite stable in my saves in Crusader Kings then again I almost always do the early Charlemagne start and uh, uh, that might have something to do with it also where do you think the first Crusades will go uh, this area is some thing that usually get early crusades in my saves. Uh, last time I saved, I all, uh, played, I almost got a good chunk of land here. However, the Teutonic Order had a little bit better performance in that war and uh, stole it from me. I did not uh, uh, like that, but what could I do? Just about nothing. Oh, actually, I will have you become something else than a warrior. I think this is more useful. Fabricating cra claims is. Uh, oh, I become strong. Please give me a new son with you and make him a strong, attractive, quick man. Then I will do everything I can to lose my other sons. I promise. Also, talking about that. But uh, in this succession, what's your favorite way of getting rid of your main heir? This one is easy. You can just make him take the vows uh, and make a monk out of him later on. But the main character, uh, the main heir, I am not uh, sure how you do that in a good way. So that's another thing you are very, very free to share with me how to do. Another marshal. Who cares? He was poop. And you don't like me much, do you? Now you like me better. Uh, and we are starting to train up some troopers here. Won't be at all many compared to my main castle then again it's time to expand here let's build a castle town for more ducats oh we get a fairly good amount of prestige well, that's something And we got another daughter. Why, w why couldn't you have been a son? It would have been a lot better. Oh, then again, just attractive. What other? Uh, did you? No, you didn't get anything. <laughs> Stupid wench, not giving me good kids. Yeah, sure.
Kingly. It's time to send someone else to education. And surprise, it's not a bishop. Uh, no, I, I don't care enough about you to waste precious money. Not at all. Or actually do I if I look here. Maybe a few coins then again she really really hates me and that might have something to do with a lot of bastards. Possible but who knows. And uh, why do you care that I change the laws? Oh well, only he will get landed now. Then again, it's for the greater good, I promise. Maybe not within our time, but for the family. Oh, more kids. Uh, Galicia is eating Asturias here. Uh, I guess they will fail. Then again, you don't have any allies, do you? You do. Uh, shame we can't really help them. They are not powerful enough and they are very very distant. And uh, let's see. Oh, not just one, but two more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Whoa. It's a horde of kids. But I won't complain. They are useful. Fruitless is sore scouring the countryside. You come across a small cutchet in a while. Uh, old crone, blah blah blah. Potion. Yeah, sure, let's do it. I could die. I guess that wasn't too good. But we recovered. We might, might actually live quite long with this character. And maybe... Yeah. You better turn out good because you will have a decent chance to become my steward and you have a decent chance to become my... Uh, Marshall, and you have actually quite good stats, but not so good traits. Oh well, can't have all. And you are also meh, not brilliant, but you have already a good uh, amount of martial skill. Now, question: Do you want a new wife? Let's see what we can find here. Not married, and now we are a bit more picky. Oh, we want to wear a married woman. No potential alliances, from what I can see. So, uh, no. What if we do this? No. If we do it like this. No. So let's mourn a bit. Uh, there's no rush for now. We uh, don't need a wife before we capture this area if that 
ever happens, if we ever get a claim. Uh, <laughs> you are not a brilliant heir. And now that I have said that, you know that and we will leave it. I could actually make him a spy master and send him to the Byzantine Empire and hopefully get rid of him or something. Uh, but not for now. He is of course unlanded. He doesn't deserve any land. And I don't have any to spare. You want to marry my daughter? Mm, yeah. Uh, uh, we'll see about that. Prison, they are not married, they are rulers. Oh, the Pope is unmarried. Uh, what else can we find here? It's not a lot of interesting options. Two barons? No. I guess we will accept. I didn't even notice she was uh, grown up. Then again. We have a lot of kids, so who can keep track of all of them? Oh, so now you want me to war? Sure. You are winning it anyway, so I won't send troops. Oh, well, you're not exactly winning it. But I still won't send troops. Because that's not what I do. That's not what this alliance is for. Oh, let's see. Find you a wife. A Frankish baron. Net. I don't think so. Oh, surprise. It's nothing exciting to marry here either. But I guess you will have to do. Or, or, or. Babies. Now, let's uh, marry you to our son. No. Son. There we go. And I think it's time to take a break here, and we will shortly be back with another episode. Thank you for watching.